welcome to another episode of the huge spring ecosphere, the 4 month update. Quite a lot has changed since the last update. The population of planaria has exploded. There are simply too many to count. But they are very interesting to watch as they glide between the spots of algae. Planaria are a species of flatworm which have a bunch of very interesting traits, like the ability to regenerate lost body parts. If you cut a planarian in two, both halves will regenerate into individual planaria. But it doesn't have to be half a planarian. Very small pieces, estimated to be as little as 1 279th of the planarian it was cut from, can regenerate into a complete organism. And it only takes a few weeks. How do they do that? You may ask. Well, it all has to do with pluripotent stem cells which are stem cells which have the ability to differentiate into other cell types. 20% of a planarian cells consist of the stem cells also known as neoblasts, which is why they are so good at regenerating. Ever wondered how they move like that? Well, they do that by beating cilia on the outside layer of their skin. A cilium is an organelle of a cell, a specialized subunit within a cell. This beating of the cilia allows them to glide on top of a very thin film of mucus. I do not know why there are suddenly so many of them in the ecosphere, but it is a lot of fun having them around. Do you see that aquatic isopod in the back? They are doing great in this closed ecosystem as well. This is the biggest one I have seen in a while. He is around one and a half centimeters long or about half an inch. Oh, they are mating. That means more babies coming soon. This is a nice shot. Just enjoy it. I have never really noticed before how they have a black and two yellow stripes, but it looks nice. I don't know why the amount of isopods is growing either, but I'm quite happy about it as it is an indicator of a healthy ecosystem. This inside of the ecosphere is littered with various algae and a lot of snails. Another one, another one, another one, another one, another one, another one. Another one, and another one. And another one. And another one. I think you get the point. There's a lot of them. We 
really big ones too. About these aquatic spiders, I have come to the conclusion that they are a species of water mites. About the plants. The Vallisneria are growing really tall and thick and they look very healthy and green. And a lot of new ones are sprouting as well. In short, they're doing great. The Cabomba, however, aren't doing great. Some plants are doing just fine. But others are dying. So, that is the 4 month update on the huge spring ecosphere. It is doing absolutely great. The amount of animals in the jar is growing a lot. It will be very interesting to see if the closed ecosystem will be able to sustain that many creatures in the future. So, if you want to find out, and if you want to see other projects, well, you're going to have to subscribe. Thanks for watching.